got a decent, like a hundred dollar gift card. Hey guys, what's up? It's Rachel and today's video is going to be a little bit different. I kind of introduced the fact that I love makeup a few videos ago and I got some new makeup last night actually and I just wanted to give it a test and see how everything's going. So I got a $100 gift card to Sephora for Christmas which is like really big and crazy and unnecessary but nonetheless uh, my boyfriend and I went to Sephora and we spent it and I love makeup I absolutely love Sephora but I never buy anything there because everything's so expensive and I have other things I need to buy like need to buy and I can't I just usually can't justify spending that much money on makeup but since I got the gift card I had an excuse to go in there and just go completely crazy we were there so long so I feel kind of bad for him but you know what it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. So we're gonna do like a tiny like mini haul here to show you what I got and show you kind of what we are playing with today and I'm so excited. The first thing I got is this Smashbox uh, lipstick in the color uh, Man Eater and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's not just a red color but it's like a metallic red and it's just so beautiful. It kind of reminded me a little bit of like Ruby Slippers from Wizard of Oz and I just was completely obsessed and I swatched everything in the store like this and this and this. It, my hands were covered in swatches and it was a mess and it was really hard to get off but it was a blast. The other thing that I got is also this uh, Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. And I have heard about this mascara like so so much over the last like few years and people just raving about it, some people not liking it and I just wanted to give it a shot because I always use the uh, Maybelline Lash Sensational which is one of my favorite mascaras ever. So I thought I would try in a high end mascara and just kind of see how it goes for me. And the big item that I got that I am completely, completely obsessed with is the Urban Decay Distortion Palette. And I didn't read any reviews or anything before I got it, but I did swatch um, like just about every single color. And this is it. You can like get a good feel for everything. The colors are absolutely beautiful. They're all very shimmery and like out there and I went for this one. There was a few others that I was looking at, um, but I liked this one because I always wear nothing but like browns and golds and like lightish pinks and stuff and this one just seemed so much more unique and there's so many colors in here that I don't have. Like pretty much every color in here I don't have already. So I'm... I'm really stoked and I have absolutely zero idea or plan for how we're gonna do this video or what colors we're gonna use or what look we're gonna go for so we're just gonna kind of see how it goes you know what I mean so it should be it should be very interesting right, so without further ado let me look at the shades for a little a little span of time and then we will try to make kind of a plan for what we're gonna do I'll see you in like literally one second. So I did my foundation and my powder and primed uh, my eyelids as well, which I didn't include because I feel like that would just be boring. So I think, I know I really want to incorporate this like orangey color right here because I think it's really beautiful and I'm kind of feeling either the blue or the green as well. So I think I want to start with this color right here and it's super overexposed, I'm sorry. Let's see if I can get that to chill. There we go. Um, right there, and it's called Bleach. And I think I want to start with that just kind of over my eyelid everywhere. And we're gonna see how this goes. Like I have, as I said, like I have absolutely zero plan for this. So we're just gonna see what happens. Hello, pigment. Holy shit. The pigment is really, really nice. I feel like this would also be a really good inner corner color as well. Just because it's so shiny and pretty. Okay, now I think we're going to go in with 
this orange color I was talking about called First Offense. Let's see if I can get a good... There we go. We're going to go in with First Offense. And I think I'm just going to put that like on my eyelid and maybe do a green or blue smoke towards it. I think that would be kind of cool. Like just, can you guys see how much pigment? I barely touched it. Like that's, what the heck. <laughs> I know this looks like shit right now. I'll fix it. Don't you fret. Don't you fret. We're not there yet. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it just a little bit because it's it, it definitely is a very pigmented, very strong color, which I absolutely love. But it is a lot, so. That's definitely helped. Definitely made it a lot softer. You guys can see that. I think that's really pretty. I don't know. I think that's really pretty. That's really pretty. I like that color a lot. Also, if you guys have ever tried this palette or have ever thought about trying this palette, um, comment down below and tell me like your thoughts or what you think your favorite colors would be in the palette. I would really love to know. Um, and kind of even give me some suggestions like different color combinations and things that you think would look good with like blue eyes or just brown eyes you know whatever um help us all out i think that would be really awesome i think i'm gonna go ahead and go in with this blue color right here and it's called 5.0 and i'm going for the blue because i've always wanted to try like true blue eyeshadow on me and i know orange and blue are like you know tight friends so so we're gonna see how this turns out it could turn out terrible and I might not even post this video so even if it turns out terrible I probably will still post it so once again I barely barely touched it and it it gave me some serious pigment so I'm, I'm glad with it so this one's definitely not as pigmented as the orange. So we're definitely going to have to kind of build and just blend as we go. I think that's going to be our best bet for this. Okay, so I went ahead and kind of blended out the blue a little bit more. And yeah, it's still very messy, I know. Um, <laughs> and it definitely turned into more of like a, like a dusty blue gray. And it's not exactly what I expected. I'm not hating it. I'm not mad at it. Um, but it's not as strong as I thought. And I know it was. I was obviously putting it on a very strong color already. So of course it wasn't going to be crazy. Um, okay. But I'm going to add some more orange, and then I think I'm going to put a shade in the middle. Something kind of in between both of them, just to kind of transition it on over, if that makes sense. And I'm sorry that I'm looking over here when I should be looking at y'all, but I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do next. And I am not at all, obviously, <laughs> anywhere close to a professional, so don't judge me too hard, guys, okay, please? But I'm having a lot of fun, even though it's crazy. <laughs> So I did add um, some more orange just to kind of like clean it up a little bit more and I definitely am starting to kind of dig it honestly. It's a smoky, it's a smoky orange kind of situation that's happening and I'm really liking it. I don't, I'm kind of scared to add another color but like I also want to live dangerously and just see what happens but I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to go towards the middle and kind of towards the end, kind of between the orange and the blue, um, slash gray. Um, and I think I'm going to go in with Spade. It's like a silvery blue, and I just think it would be really pretty and kind of a good transition between colors. Wow, I am so overexposed. So let's see how that turns out. It could turn out like absolute shit, and I should have stopped here, but I'm about taking risks, okay? Okay, 
so I kind of added that in there and it didn't it didn't make a huge difference it just kind of added a little bit of extra shimmer which like who doesn't want some extra shimmer so and guys before anyone says anything I do know that like you're supposed like technically it's set up so that you do these three and then like these three and then there's like little lines that point to different like I know I'm just I'm just being a wild child today, you know what? I'm being a straight up rebel. So, I actually really kind of like it, to be honest with you. Tell me what you guys think down below. Um, obviously, I'm not a professional, as I said, but I think I'm going to go ahead and put some of the orange, like, under my eye a little bit and put that first color that we use called bleach in my inner corner because I feel like that would be really, really pretty. So, let's go ahead and do that really quick. That color is so pretty. Do you guys see that? That's so, so pretty. I can't get over it. Hey, so I really like that inner, is an inner corner color. I'm really, really digging that. Especially this side. I think it's so gorgeous. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm I definitely think I might have found uh, my new favorite inner corner color. Okay, now we're going to go with the orange under the eye as well. I really feel like the camera doesn't do it justice, but my eyes are freaking popping. Like, not my eye color, but like like this entire like underneath is just so shiny and pretty oh my gosh I can't I'm, I'm so excited right now and I know it probably looks like shit on y'all's end but I think it looks really nice we're gonna go in with the better than sex mascara by Too Faced and I'm gonna give it a try and you know hopefully give an honest review because Mascara is something that I do a lot more than eyeshadow and things like that. Like, I just, I put mascara on on a pretty daily basis. So hopefully, I like this one. Okay, what do you guys think about this mascara? I am really, really liking this mascara. I think it makes my eyelashes look a lot longer than they are, which, obviously, girls, like and guys whoever like you guys know that that's a very important thing <laughs> so uh, that is my eyes completed i'm actually pleasantly surprised with how they turned out i'm kind of really liking it a lot i'm really like that mascara like glided on so nice and so easily i can't even believe how fat like how well that glided on like I have a feeling I'm going to really love this mascara. And tell me guys if you love it or hate it. I know it's usually, there really isn't a lot of in between. People usually love it or they hate it. Like there's usually not a lot of in between there. So let me know how you guys feel about that. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my highlight and my bronzer Maybelline Master Contour uh, Palette. And this is pretty much all that I use for contour and highlight because I love it so so much so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the bronzer we are going extra today okay girl okay and now we're gonna go in with the highlight I absolutely love this highlight. I think it is so, so pretty. And you guys probably can't see it at all in this lighting, but, or in my phone. <laughs> all right, and there is my highlight and bronzer done as well in my eyes. And I don't think I'm gonna touch my lips. I think I'm just gonna go with like some chapstick uh, because the eyes are a lot. And let me know down below even though I have literally asked you like 50 million questions, I'm just honestly very curious. What lip color would you go for with this look? Or would you go for any at all? Let me know. Um, I'm not going to go for one today, but this is the finished look. And let me see if I can get you close. Even though I know you don't want to be close to my face, trust me. No one wants to be close to my face. But um, this is the eyes and the highlight and the bronzer. 
I I really really hope you guys enjoyed this video I loved like I had so much fun playing with this palette and there are so many so so many colors in this that I could foresee making another video if you guys enjoyed it if you don't I won't but I'm still gonna mess with it uh, let me know if you guys do want to see another video like this um, or if you just want to see me actually have a plan and do a look and do another voiceover I just wanted to kind of give the just typical like I'm talking to you guys kind of video um, because like I realized that I'm very bad at voiceovers but I can definitely give it another shot if you guys wanted to see kind of a makeup tutorial situation with a voiceover like I could I could manage that for you guys if that's what you want um thank you guys so so much for watching I know this is kind of a train wreck but it was really really fun nonetheless and I will see you guys next week with a whole new video bye guys